Hi everyone, in today's quick tip video I just want to let you know that Embrilliance has updated some of their modules. Now you may have seen that I've been using a demo version of Embrilliance recently showing you what features are available in some of the additional modules but for today's video I'm actually showing you the updates that they have made to the actual paid for Embrilliance. As for the paid for version, I only use Embrilliance Essentials, so that's what I'm showing you today. But you will be able to go onto the Embrilliance website and have a look what they've included in any of the other modules. So the first thing I want to say is, this is my regular paid for Embrilliance Essentials window and they have added seven new fonts. Now the way to check whether you've got the updated version or not, first of all, is once you're in your Embrilliance, as I say, I'm in Essentials, which is the paid for, I have the serial number, so the paid for version. Go to the top of the page where it says help, and it says check for updates and it will tell you here what version you're using now obviously I've updated because I wanted to show you the new fonts so it says that the program version that I'm running in the paid for version is version 1.190 okay so if yours is anything different to that then you can go over to the Embrilliance website and download the update so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to pop over to the Embrilliance website so I'm here on the home page so to, to look for updates they call them downloads so you go to the downloads tab at the top of the page and select that this is where you can also download a separate demo version which is what I've been showing you recently and um, it, it, it loads as a separate icon on your computer whether you're using Windows or Mac and it says when you select it it says demonstration so that's where you can get that and you can have a play with any of the other modules that the Embrilliance platform offer so things like Enthusiast, I think Merrily, Stitch Artist 1, 2 and 3, there's all sorts of things basically they're all full working versions the only thing you can't do is save so you can install them separate to any other paid for Embrilliance modules that you already have and you can go in and you can play around with them using those specific modules see whether you like them before you decide whether to buy because Embrilliance is a module based program but today I'm just going to show you how you can download the latest version of the Embrilliance that will work for whatever modules you've got so as I say if you scroll further down you'll see here there's a Windows download and it says Windows XP and you know it's got a date after it and it says Embrilliance 1.190 which is what you saw I have already installed on my essentials package so if you're on Windows you just select this it's a zip folder it drops into your computer wherever any of your download folders go on a Mac all you have to do is double click it and it unzips it on Windows I think you have to right click and extract it something like that but if you're used to using Windows you'll probably know that anyway now for Mac there are various options Mac OS X or Mac OS if you're using Sequoia the installer is here I just use the installer I don't bother with any of this disk image business I just always go for the installer if you're using High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, Ventura or Sonoma you want this installer and if you're using Mavericks, Yosemite, El Capitan or Sierra you want this one for me I'm still on one of these I think I'm on Sonoma or Ventura I can't remember so I did this one so this is the one I'm on here and then the installer is underneath and I just left clicked on it it dropped into my downloads folder I double clicked and then I just installed it as you would anything else you download for your Mac so let's go back and then basically what you have to do is if you've already got Embrilliance open when you do this, you've got to close out of Embrilliance. You may or may not have to restart your computer. I don't think I did, um, but you definitely have to close Embrilliance down and reopen it if you've got it open while you're doing this installer option. 
So I've got it installed and these are the seven new fonts that they've added into Essentials. If I just click on the letter tab at the top, it will put an ABC in the middle of my page. And then over on the right hand side in your properties box, if you, you can see where it says text ABC and then it says font and then there's a drop down box. So if you go all the way to the top, you'll find Ace Barrel, which is a new font. Then the next one down that they've given us is Bold Cursive Connected, which is this one here. And there it is. Then the next one they've given us is Brush Script Connected, which is there. I've got lots of other fonts here in this list because these are fonts that I've, BX fonts I've paid for. The next one they've given us is Curly Q. So again, if you scroll down, you'll find Curly Q. They've also given us Curtis Script Connected. So these are fonts that when you type them, already connect the letters together for you so you don't have to move them like you do with some of your other fonts, you know, to make them look as though they're overlapped. So Curtis Script Connected. The next one is Philly Connected. I think we've always had Philly, but now they've given us Philly Connected. So if I scroll down to the P's, there's Philly. I think we've always had that. And then Philly Connected is this one. And then they've given us Varsity Flare Connected. So again, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll not be able to see because it's just out of the screenshot that I'm using for the recording this video, but it is down there, Varsity Flare Connected. So that's it. They've given us those seven new fonts, which are really nice. If I... With this ABC on my page, if I come over to the right hand side where it says text and I just um, highlight that text and get rid of it and type hello and hit enter and then I'll just make it bigger so that you can see it. Then as I say, you use the drop down menu and we can go and look at the fonts but you know, as I say, I've just shown you, showing you them all here on the page. So this is how Ace Barrel would look. And then, as I say, I've just typed out all the others. So they're all here, all in your font list. So that's seven new fonts. Ace Barrel, Bold Cursive Connected, Brush Script Connected, Curly Q, Curtis Script Connected, Philly Connected, and Varsity Flare Connected. So they're all free in the version 1.190. So, as I say, head over to the M Brilliance website, go to the downloads page and look for version 1.190 for whichever operating system you use from anything in this list here. If it's Windows, just click the first one. If it's Mac, you've got all these different options depending on which operating system you're working. One thing I would say, if you are on a Mac, go to your settings icon, which is generally at the bottom of your screen in your dock. And when your settings open up, go to general, I think it is, and then click on software update and it will tell you whether there are any updates for you to do. And mine's on automatic updates and I think it does it overnight or something like that, but you can do them, you know, manually. So it says here that I'm using Mac OS Ventura. So if there's an update available in your software, I would do that update for your Mac first <clears throat> and then maybe restart your computer and then come to Embrilliance and download and choose whichever installer from your list that pertains to whatever operating system you have done. So that's it. It was just a very quick tip video. And I hope it helps. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments directly under the YouTube video and I will try and answer anything I can. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.